Hi guys, just a quick look here, the ICOM ICR 8600, looking today at the noise reduction, uh, so it's quite noisy on the 20 meter band, see this kind of contest on, it's busy, and uh, you can hear that constant hiss in the background. So you can hear that noise in the background. Let me get a good station first. There we go for the noise reduction. Doesn't really make much difference to the audio, uh, the actual voice, but takes the hiss right off it. Like a sophisticated high cut system, I suppose. It's uh, it's very quite, it's quite good. Definitely quite good. I'll just have to turn the radio off and on to remind myself which version this is on, because I can never remember. There you go. What's that say? 1.34 so it's on version 1.34 so it's on 1.34 at the moment Really, it's quite good at uh, it's quite good radio at uh, adjacent channel rejection uh, without using the um, the band pass there, the pass band uh, tuning there. It's quite good without that, as you can see. It's quite busy on the the scope there, and there's not much bleed over from other channels that are quite close by. If they're very, very close, you get a bit of bleed over. But at the end of the day, if, if you've got a channel or a station you're listening to and it's on uh, virtually exactly the same frequency, then I'm afraid no bandpass system in the world's gonna stop interference unless you go really narrow, but obviously channels have got a certain width they're broadcasting on, stations have, sorry. So you need to keep to the, you know, the recommended uh, channel. Uh, sorry, the uh, the bandwidth, receive bandwidth to their broadcast bandwidth. Uh, you need to keep it obviously matched. Uh, I'm not sure the exact science behind that, but uh, I've seen to look up um, what uh, what filter you need to use there. But like I said, if you've got a station that's right next to the uh, right next to it, then it's unlikely any sort of bandpass uh, filter or anything like that's going to get rid of it without losing um, the sort of legibility of the signal. Uh, and so this is, or readability or whatever of the signal, it makes it hard to listen to basically. If you turn the, uh, the band pass, uh, if you narrow down the, the band width by using the band pass, then uh, you got the signal, but sometimes it sounds a bit squashed, a bit compressed, but this, I find that this noise reduction does actually help with that. And it does cut out a little bit of the extra. It does actually cut out a little bit of the noise in the background uh, from other stations. Only a little bit, but it does really help, to be fair. Uh, so that's it, guys. Just a quick look at the, uh, the ICOM ICR 8600 there. 
Uh, and the noise reduction, like I say, it's version 1.34. So I think it's the latest version uh, you can get in the UK at the moment. It was programmed by ICOM about two months ago, maybe. Uh, thanks, guys, ICOM UK. Uh, and that's it, pretty much. Just a quick look at the noise reduction. Before that, the noise reduction was uh, the noise reduction was terrible. You know, it really was terrible. Um, the the early versions really weren't the best uh, versions of the noise reduction. Uh, but this noise reduction is, is quite good now, you know, it's getting to be really useful. Uh, on par with the uh, BHI um, desktop speaker system, which they're really, really good. You know, and it's sort of, it's sounding a lot like those now. Obviously, if you go up too far again. You will get the uh, waterfall effect again, the waterfall sound. Or the water dropping sound. You know, but it does seem to be. I didn't get it there, but it does seem to be really, uh, you know, really nice DSP uh, noise reduction on these now. Really got the act together. Uh, I say the next thing I'd like to see is the uh, the AM sync. I mean, the AM sync everyone knows isn't the sort of best wasn't the best on icom in the past but this has got a reasonable aim sync on it but it's sort of not groundbreaking but it's quite good you know it's fair fair enough but um you know in the uk there's not that many stations uh to listen to that i'm interested in should i say uh i think they get a lot of shortwave stations in america more than we have over here sort of talk stations at night um i say the noise reduction is fair on these really is quite nice You know, I'll actually use the noise reduction now. I didn't, I didn't use the noise reduction before. I never used it because it was so harsh and and too much on the ear. You know, on the uh, the tech sun here, moving over to the tech sun. Same, same frequency there. As you can hear, they're very noisy conditions today, but this Texan's actually got DSP. Uh, there is now 4 kilohertz filter, by the way. It's uh, 3 kilohertz-ish. Or 2.3-ish. Or... 1.2 it's got a 500 kilo uh, 500 hertz filter for cw but i tell you what it has got it's got um uses dsp to control the bandwidth obviously but i tell you what it has got if you hold down six on the um the remote control here it's actually got noise reduction one level only i'll just demonstrate that It just takes away a little bit of the harshness on it. It's not as good as the, uh, of course it's not as good as the ICOMs. You know, it's not gonna be as good as the ICOMs, of course. You know, it's this is a 275 pound radio, including the tax here in the UK.